Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome back to another March Madness style tournament that we do every once in a while. This time around, it's the veggies. Which vegetable is best? All right, last time we did it on fruit, and if you haven't seen that tournament, definitely go check it out. It needs support. All right, so we have 27 of the most popular vegetables, all right? 1 through 27, ranging from the number one seed onion all the way down to the last seed Brussels sprouts, all right? We got 12 categories in the Magical Bowl. This is going to be the play-in round, of course, round one. Um, best out of five, so first to three will win. First to three points from the Magical Bowl. If you don't know how this goes, just follow along for a few minutes and it'll be easy to understand, I promise. All right, so before we begin, of course, what is your favorite vegetable? Is it broccoli, which statistically is America's favorite vegetable? Or is it something like potatoes, which I believe deserves to be number one? Or maybe it's a little bit more um, on the down low, like squash. Uh, I don't, I'm not a big squash fan, but maybe you are, and let me know, all right? So, Let's get this rolling with the first matchup that we have, which is going to be the 17th seed peas against the 16th seed squash. So those squash lovers, now's your time to shine. Again, magical bowl, first to uh, three points, best out of five. Let's get this going with category number 10. Category number 10 is going to be storage life. So the longer uh, these vegetables stay fresh, all right, uh, with refrigeration, the point they are going to receive, all right? So let's get this going with peas. Peas have a storage life on average of three days, all right, fresh. So peas don't last that long if you want them fresh. Meanwhile, squash can last up to two months staying fresh. So that is quite the bit more, all right? So those squash lovers out there that I've been calling out, you already got the first point of this veggie March Madness tournament. Congratulations. Maybe you'll get the first dub as well, all right? Next category that we got is going to be category seven. Category seven is best movie. So I'm seeing if there's any movies with these vegetables in the title, and then I'm looking at their Google um, review score. All right, for squash, there's no movies with squash in the name that were notable. All right, meanwhile, with P, there's the princess and the P with a 91% Google rating. So P is going to tie this up 1-1. One, one. All right. Next category we have is 12, which is going to be the last category, which is uh, grow ability. So uh, I plug these in, all right, into a generator that determines how easy it is to grow each of these vegetables, and then it spit out a you know a list, uh, a ranking. So for squash, they are the seventh easiest vegetable to grow. So that's pretty good, top 10. For peas, they are actually the fourth easiest vegetable to grow. So peas, easier to grow in your garden. They go up 2-1, threatening to beat squash. To squash, squash. All right, next up we got category six. All right, category six is going to be nutritional grade. All right. With that, I'm also going to say uh, what kind of vitamins or minerals they pack a punch, uh, just as an added element of uh, whatever, but they're, they're graded like, you know, F through A. So squash, they're a good source of vitamin B6, and they have a nutritional grade of A. Peas are a good source of carotene and have a nutritional grade of A as well. So that's a tie. We're going to reroll. There will be a lot of ties with those nutritional grades. As you can imagine, most vegetables are fairly similar in terms of overall health. Um, now we have category four. Category four is going to be my look preference, all right? So I'm going to look at these vegetables and go, all right, which one of these do I think looks better? So this one is a preference, of course. Um, peas, I mean, they're green, they're round, um, 
I don't know. They're not bad looking, but there's there's not much variety in how they look. Squash can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Um, they're very unique overall. So I think for that, just because of their uniqueness and the variety of looks that they give, I'm going to give Squash the point here, make it interesting. 2-2, two, two. we have a good first matchup in this first round of the Veggie March Madness Tournament. All right. Next up, oh, we have the dreaded number one category, which is what they are seeded upon. This one's always rough to get if you are the lower seed. So this is based off of tonnage uh, produced or exported. Uh, so for squash, they're the 16th seed with 20 million tons produced each year. Peas are the 17th seed with 18 million tons produced each year. So squash, all right, Actually, going to get the nod here, seated one seed higher. Going to beat Peas, squash them, and they are out of here. That one's rough, because if you can imagine, squash weigh a lot heavier than Peas. So, probably a lot less squash are being produced than Peas, but since they're heavier, they, they one-up them. So, squash moving on to the Sweet 16. Peas, again, you're out of here. All right. That was a good first matchup all right to get everyone uh antiquated into this next matchup we have is the ninth seed yams yes i was shocked too that yams were so high up against the 24th seed leaks the leaks all right first category we are drawing is going to be category eight category eight is going to be uh, most popular song that uh that has the vegetable in the title, all right? So for Yam, it's the song Yam by Shark Boy with 5.9 million views or plays on YouTube, all right? So not bad. For Leak, it's Freak a Leak by Petey Pablo, you know, very popular uh, hip hop rap song, uh, fairly back in the day now, with 209 million views, all right? So, uh, quite a bit quite a bit more than Yam by Shark Boy. So, leaks, because of P.D. Pablo, gonna get a point here, 1-0. All right, next up we got is category nine. Yes, my nines have lines because I'm stupid, all right? I'm a big dumb dummy who puts lines on nines instead of sixes. We know this. If you don't know this, now you know that uh, I'm not the most intelligent. So, uh, category nine is also going to be music. It's going to be the amount of times that these vegetables are referenced in music. All right, so how many songs reference leaks? That would be uh, 40 total songs, most notably by the artist P.D. Pablo. But for yams, it is 800 songs referencing yams, most notably by the artist Ricky Rick. So, uh, like 700 more for yams. They're going to tie this up one to one. Uno to uno. All right. What's next? Ah, uh, look at that. Subscribe. Join the Southern Woods community. If you want to see more of these videos, definitely hit that sub button. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Next up, uh, sticking together. Oh, ha like that like button hit that like button show that you support this video that you enjoy it and it helps me get on the algorithm you know it's what the magical bowl decided so you know you have to now right or you don't if you don't want to um all right for real though we got category 11 to be the next one all right category 11 is going to be culinary versatility once again i plug this into this um simulation uh, or generator whatever you want to call it say uh give you know crank them out in a list from most culinary versatile to least and this is what we got for yams they were ranked 22nd most versatile out of 27 so definitely on the lower end of the list meanwhile for leaks uh they were 26th so uh second to last for leaks i you yeah, know it makes sense I don't know a ton of people throwing leeks into their dishes, so <clears throat> yams are going to get a point just barely. They're up two to one, needing one more point to win. All right, next up we have is category two. 
Category two is going to be price per unit. So how many does a singular leak cost? How much does a singular yam cost? Cheapest gonna win, of course. <clears throat> Cause we get, we, we're, you know, we ain't got all the money in the world, right? So leaks will cost you about $2 per unit. Meanwhile, yams will cost you four buckaroonies per yam on average. So leaks a couple bucks cheaper. They're gonna tie this up to two. We have back to back good contesting matches all right all right what will determine it though we have category six again category six is going to be that nutritional grade uh leeks have a lot of antioxidants and have a nutritional grade of a and then yams have a lot of uh diosgenin dio diosgenin diogenin with a grade of a as well so it doesn't even matter we're re-rolling, we're re all right? All right, favorite veggies, you know, put in the comments. Category five is next. Category five is uh, health benefits. So the total amount of proven or at least mostly proven medical health benefits that these vegetables can provide will get the point for yams. They help with arthritis and hormonal balance. And, you know, that's a little different um, with four other health benefits that I could find with a total of six. For leeks, they... Uh, uh, decrease the risk of cancer, all right? So they're anti-carcinogen. Um, they help with bone strength as well as for other health benefits. So once again, we have a tie, re-rolling. So leeks and yams, who knew they would be such a evenly matched opponent? Uh, but we have the ultimate killer, which is going to be um, that the number one category what they're seeded upon leaks 24 seed with only 2.2 million tons being produced each year yams ninth seed with 50 million tons being produced each year so with that yams are gonna get the nod here three to two leaks you are out of here yams you're moving on to the sweet 16 all right next matchup we have is the 25th seed artichoke against the 8th seed eggplant. I was kind of shocked that eggplant were so high up there. All right. First category that we're going to draw is three. Category three is finally my actual preference, like my, my, my palate, my taste bud. And with that, I think we've hit all the categories, which is pretty good variation to go um, to start us out with. So do I like artichokes more or do I like eggplant? I, I'm not a huge eggplant fan. I don't like the texture. I don't think they add a whole lot to a dish. There are some good dishes with eggplant, like some Italian dishes, but overall, you know, you uh, season up and grill up some uh, artichokes or um, yeah, you, you can make artichokes pretty damn tasty and artichoke spinach dips pretty good. So I got to go with the artichokes on this one. They get the first point. Any eggplant fans out there? All right. Uh, question or not question. Category 10 is going to be storage life. Uh, so the storage life for eggplant uh, to stay fresh is only about four days. So you have like half a week to work with for eggplants um, for... What's the other artichokes? We have a week and a half. So you have uh, about another week to work with to save them artichokes. So with that, artichokes actually going to go up here 2 0, threatening to sweep eggplant. All right. Next category we got is seven. Category seven is best movie. Artichokes, uh, there ain't no movies about no artichokes. Okay. Uh, what about eggplant? Uh, not that I could find either. There was like some emoji movie um, back in the day that had to do with the eggplant emoji, but eggplant wasn't in the title. And it, um, so I didn't put it on there for various reasons, but it doesn't matter because that just means a reroll. All right, which we got category four. Category four is going to be look preference here. Um, you know, do I go for the, the, the phallicness, all right? Or do I go for, um, I mean, arti <laughs> artichokes. I'm, actually, artichokes are kind of cool, but um, I think for, you know, the, the humor of it all, I have to go for the eggplant here. I think it's a better looking vegetable. So with that, they're not going to get swept. Um, 
They're, they still have some work to do, though, to beat out artichokes. All right, next we have category 12, which is going to be um, the growability ranking for eggplant. They are ranked 23rd, so they're kind of difficult to grow. It's kind of hard to grow that eggplant, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so, some of us have issues with that. Um, meanwhile, for artichoke, they are ranked last. Artichokes are hard as shit to grow, apparently. Um, I mean, it makes sense. I think they're heavily, um, they need like a Mediterranean type of climate, um, which you, you can't replicate um, that easily. Um, I think they're Mediterranean. Like, I think a lot of artichokes are around Italy and Greece and stuff like that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, but with that, eggplants are actually going to tie this up too, too. Could they come back and rock the world? All right. We all, we already did the like and sub game. I forgot to keep them out of the bowl. I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk pulling that, you know, 10 times in a video or yeah, or else y'all are going to unsubscribe and hit the dislike button. I don't want that. All right, next up we got is category eight. All right, to possibly finale or uh, final this off. Uh, most popular song for Artichoke. It's the song Artichoke by uh, Isaac White and Yummy with 1.3 million views. Um, I don't know about that. For Eggplant, it's a song called Peaches and Eggplant by Young Nutty with 108 um, million views. Watch it be Young Nudie. I don't listen to Young Nutty. Maybe I should. Should I be put on to that? Uh, what I've noticed is he has a lot of songs about fruits and vegetables. All right, He pops up several times um, in this uh, bracket. So with that, uh, Eggplant's going to come back from the abyss and take out Artichoke's 3-2. to two. Man, I really thought Artichoke's were going to pull it off, but they couldn't. Eggplant, you're moving on to the uh, Sweet 16 Artichoke's you choked, you really did choke, and you're out of here, all right? So, next matchup we have is the 21st seed, Avocados. Yo, Alex, they are technically fruit. Shut the, shut the hell up. They're green, and they're not sweet. They're a vegetable, and on a chart that I, most popular vegetables, avocados were on there. So, obviously, you know, they're not that much of a fruit. So it's 21st seed avocados against the 12th seed spinach. All right, Popeye, the spinach mascot out here. Let's see what happens with them. First category we're rolling is category three, which is going to be my personal preference. Spinach or avocados? I don't mind spinach, but I mean, avocados are just a lot better in my opinion. Okay, so avocado is going to get that 1-0 lead. Every matchup so far has been a tight one, two to two until the end. All right, next up we have category 10. Category 10 is going to be storage life. Uh, avocados, you know, they, they spoil quickly. Only three days fresh. You got you to gotta get them quick before they start to, you know, uh, brown over a little bit. Meanwhile, uh, what's, what's the other one? Uh, spinach. Spinach, uh, four days a, a day more of freshness, on average, is going to get spinach. The point here, they tied up 1-1. One, one. All right. Next up we have is Category 4. Category 4 is going to be the look preferences here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Spinach, uh, round, leafy green. Okay? Not too exciting. Meanwhile, um, avocado... Uh, dark purple when they're ripe, uh, green when they're not, Rat, I don't know, dude, I mean, the, the, I don't have a much of a preference on this one, I feel like, I feel like leafy greens just aren't that exciting, though, so I'm gonna have to give it to avocado, okay, they, they get this point, but not by much, so now they're up two to one, well, spinach tied up, well, we have another tight game or will it be um will it be more of a blowout this time category two now is going to be that price per unit all right um <clears throat> a singular pack of spinach all right because uh there was too much math i wasn't going to do individual leaf because you can't buy an individual leaf of spinach so you have to do you know like a bundle of spinach and that's going to run you up about two dollars and twenty cents per 
pack of spinach. For avocado though, you can buy a singular avocado and it's only going to be about 79 cents on average. All right, less than a buckaroo. So with that being said, avocado actually going to beat spinach three to one. This is our first upset technically, I believe. And it's our first one that didn't uh, you know, come down to the wire. So spinach, you are out of here. Popeye, goodbye. Um, and avocados, see you in the sweet 16. All right, next matchup we have is the 13th seed garlic against the 20th seed okra. All right, obviously okra, pretty big down south. Garlic, you know, pretty good on fighting vampires and stuff like that. First category we have is category five, which is going to be health benefits all right so let's look at the health benefits of garlic all right they're good for your heart heart healthy antibacterial of course very antibacterial um and then six other health benefits that i could find so pretty good for um the garlic meanwhile for okra anti -can uh cancer syndrome all right they help fight cancer good for your heart as well but only four other health benefits that i could find so Garlic has a couple more. They're up 1-0 against okra. All right. Next up we have is three. Category three is going to be my personal preference again. Okay. I'm not going to complain. I, I like getting my personal preference here. Um, let's see. Garlic or okra? Garlic or okra? I think I'm going to have to do... I don't know. Garlic as a flavor is really good, but I love fried okra. Mmm... I'm going to have to give it to garlic, though, because, oh, but uh, pickled okra, too. Ooh. There's more ways to eat okra than there is garlic, but it's easier to implement garlic in general into dishes. All right? Because, I mean, unless you're eating okra by itself or in, in some gumbo, there's, oh, man. Ooh. <sighs> this is difficult for me. This may be easy for y'all. Most of y'all going, garlic, garlic, garlic. Yeah, yeah, you stinky breath bastards. Of course you are. Some of y'all go, okra, okra. And you're probably a good old southern boy, all right? Um, just like me. It's the southern woods. I really like the flavor of garlic, but it, and it's very good for your health, but it makes your breath stinky. It's not that fun eating a garlic clove on its own. Uh, okra is more enjoyable to eat by itself. So I'm going to give the point here to okra here. It, it was tight. It was close. All right. Some of y'all may hate me for it, but you know, that that's what we're doing. It's all tied up on one. All right. Next up we have is uh, category 11, which is going to be that culinary versatility. All right. Okra towards the end, 24. Because as I just mentioned, I, unless you're eating it by yourself, you don't really implement okra in a lot of other dishes unless it's like gumbo, right? Um, or something like that. However, garlic, I imagine, is very high up there. Uh, yes. Third most culinary versatile because you can put garlic flavoring and garlic in like any dish and enhance it. So um, there you go, garlic. Up two to one now. Next up we have is category nine. Category nine, once again, is music references. Garlic in 166 different songs, most notably by Fish and Two Chains. Uh, you know how it goes. Um, meanwhile, Okra is in only 34 songs, most notably by Chris Smither and Yellow Wolf. Again, some country boys, so uh, that makes sense. Uh, so garlic going to get a pretty convincing win here. Three to one. If it weren't for me, okra, you would have been swept. So all those okra fans, uh, you can thank me later for giving them a shot. So garlic moving on to the, you know, not so sweet 16 since it's garlic and then okra, you are out of here. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more matches again. Uh, playing tournaments are always the longer video. If you're somewhat enjoying it, I please bear with me, keep watching it, or hit pause, go do something, and resume because you don't want to be left hanging. You want to know what happens, all right? Especially with a matchup like this 19th seed cauliflower. Shit. 19th seed cauliflower versus the 14th seed lettuce, right? Very entertaining, exciting matchup. You wouldn't want to miss this. Let's see what the first category is. It's going to be seven. Category seven is uh, that best movie. All right. So best movie 
to have Cauliflower is the movie Cauliflower with a 64% Google rating. Not that good of a rating, right? Meanwhile, for lettuce, I uh, couldn't find any movies all right, with lettuce in the name. So by default, uh, Cauliflower going to get that 1-0 lead. All right, next up we have is uh, Category 12. Category 12 is going to be that grow ability. For lettuce, it is the easiest vegetable to grow, supposedly. Easiest one to grow. You could just go make lettuce out the wazoo in your backyard, probably. That's how easy it is. Uh, meanwhile, for cauliflower, although it doesn't matter, 18th, kind of the middle of the pack sort of thing. Um, so lettuce going to get a point here, tying it up 1-1. One, one. All right. Next up we got is category two. Category two is going to be that price per unit. All right. A singular head of cauliflower is about three buckaroos. All right. So that's uh, kind of pricey. All right. Um, Broccoli is a lot cheaper, but people from Montana, their favorite vegetable is cauliflower. If you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. Unless this is out before, then you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Um, Meanwhile, lettuce, a head of lettuce is a dollar seventy-five. So you can get a lot more out of a head of lettuce than a head of broccoli. Probably or a head of cauliflower, probably. Um uh, may I it what, what am I even talking about? Either way, lettuce is uh quite a bit cheaper, so they're going up two to one. Alright. Threatening to beat out cauliflower. Make a lot of Montanians upset. Um, we got category four next. Category four is going to be that look preference. All right, I'm going to be honest already here. Cauliflower is going to beat out lettuce. All right, a head of lettuce is the most boring freaking thing ever. Meanwhile, cauliflower, at least it's somewhat interesting, different, unique. So cauliflower going to tie this up 2-2. Two, two. We have ourselves a match. See, why would you want to miss this matchup when it's coming down to the wire like this? All right, we got category eight once again. Category eight is going to be most popular song. Lettuce is uh, the title of the song by Boof Packs Moki. Boof Packs Moki. 34,000 views or listens. You know, very, very low one. The lowest on here. Meanwhile, Cauliflower. It's a song Cauliflower by The Rattles with 103,000 views. Uh, not a whole lot either but enough to beat out lettuce. So cauliflower with the mini upset. Lettuce going home. You're out of here. Cauliflower moving on to the sweet 16. All right. Next up, we have a pretty big one, I feel. The 11th seed carrots against the 22nd seed asparagus. All right. Riddle me this, all right. Uh, cactus, plural, is cacti. All right. Um... There was other examples I had, but why isn't asparagus asparagi, right? Why is it asparaguses instead of asparagi? Or is it asparagi? And I'm just... Gotta look this up. Asparagus is already plural. But why isn't asparagi, dude? Cactus, cacti. Asparagus, asparagi, right? That's what I think. Anyways, let's get this first category rolling. I'm wasting time. Um, category seven is going to be the first one for this matchup, and that's going to be the best uh, movie here. So for carrot, th there's no movies with carrots in it, okay? Um, not that I could find. Asparagus, same thing. So we're re-rolling. Next up we got is category 12, growability for asparagus. Um, it's about 20th. All right, so it's on the harder end to grow. Meanwhile, carrots, I imagine, are one of the easiest. Top 10, 10th easiest to grow. So carrots going to get a point here, one to zero. All right, next up we have is category four. It's going to be that look preference again. Uh, I think baby carrots are boring as shit, but the long actual carrots, all right, as you see um, in this picture, I think there's some symbolism there. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. I don't hate how asparagus look, all right, or asparagi, how they should be pr pronounced. Uh, but I'm going to get the point here to carry it. So they're threatening to sweep the asparagus, all right? Next up, we have category two. So uh, price per unit now, okay? A single carrot only costs you about 10 cents, all right? 10 cents for a carrot, 
not bad, pretty affordable. Uh, asparagus, 20 cents. So a whole, a dime for your dime more, a dime for your time more expensive are uh, the asparagi. So carrots actually going to give us our first sweep of the day, sweeping that asparagus. But who likes asparagus anyway? They make your pee smell funny. All right, um, and they're not that bad tasting, but carrots, obviously superior. Moving on to the Sweet 16, Asparagi, see you later. Um, you're out of here. So next matchup we have is the last seed, last seed, biggest underdog, Brussels sprouts, them sprouts from Brussels against the sixth seed, Sweet Potatoes. All right, them Sweet Potatoes, Sweet Potato Pie, and I shut my mouth. All right, well, this is not good for Brussels sprouts. It's number one seed. Uh, only 200,000 tons of Brussels sprouts are being produced each year. Meanwhile, for sweet potatoes, the sixth seed, that's 89 million tons of uh, Brussels or uh, of sweet potatoes being produced each year. So obviously, astronomical difference. Sweet potatoes quickly up 1-0 against Brussels sprouts. Rough one to pull if you're the first seed. Uh, a bunch fell. All right, so I'm doing the one that flew the furthest away that was face down and that's going to be category six category six is going to be nutritional grade okay for um brussels sprouts uh they, they give you a lot of vitamin c all right for a, a veggie green uh and they have a nutritional score of a meanwhile sweet potato they give you a lot of vitamin a and have a score of a so that don't do nothing for us we're re-rolling all right we got category nine next. Category nine is going to be the music references. Sweet Potatoes referenced in 100 even total songs, most notably by Bing Crosby. And of course, Alabama, you know, sweet potato pie, shut my mouth. Go, go to win. Ain't nobody looking back again. You know what I'm saying? So um, anyways, Brussels sprouts, uh, only in four songs I can find, most notably by my man E-40 rapping about Brussels sprouts. So, although not enough, Sweet Potato going to go up two to zero. All right, next up we have is uh, 11. 11 is going to be uh, culinary versatility, Sweet Potatoes, uh, kind of the middle of the pack, 13th, okay. All right, you can do a lot of dessert type stuff as well as Sweet Potato Fries. So, uh, you know, not that bad. Brussels sprouts though, uh, 20th. All right. On the lower end. All right. You can do some things with Brussels sprouts. You can, you can make them taste edible ish. All right. Brussels, Brussels sprouts are one of those vegetables. Most people point to as their least favorite, uh, Brussels sprouts, you know, uh, squash, maybe broccoli, asparagus, um, artichoke, maybe it's one, it's one of the ones people go yuck, even though, as I said, broccoli is supposedly the most popular, um, vegetable in America. So you're getting brainwashed. Anyways, again, uh, being sidetracked a lot today, sweet potato is going to sweep, sweet potato sweep in Brussels sprouts three to zero. So the last seed had no, no chance. They are out of here. We have, uh, three more matchups to go. I know this video is running kind of long. Let's get through them. All right. With the next up seventh seed cabbage, you know, lettuce's cousin versus the second to last seed celery. I was kind of shocked that celery was that low on the seeding. All right. First category we have is one. Again, a rough one to roll because celery only produces, uh, or there's only 1 million tons of celery produced each year. For cabbage, it's 71 million tons. So 70 more million tons being produced for cabbage. They go up 1-0 against celery. I'm a big fan of celery, right? I like celery pretty decently, so I, I'm, I'm rooting for them. Category 6 is next. Category 6 is going to be that uh, nutritional grade uh, once again. Uh, for celery, they're a good source of fiber, and they have a uh, score of... Uh, a minus actually. So the first one below an A and A minus. Meanwhile, let's go to uh, cabbage, shall we? They're a good source of vitamin C with an A score. So A is better than A minus. So they're going to go up 2 0 against celery. This is not good for my celery uh, fans out there. Uh, next up we have is category 10. Category 10 is going to be storage life. Cabbage. I was pretty shocked that you could keep it fresh for about a month and a half, right? 
Uh, that's a lot longer than I thought. For salary though, only a week and a half. So um, quite disappointing. Salary getting sweeped here. Uh, three to zero. Cabbage moving on to the Sweet 16 and Celery just psh, out of here. So um, next, second to last matchup we have is the 23rd seed Radish against the 10th seed Turnips. All right. I feel like a semi-similar uh, vegetable. Um, we'll see what happens. Radish and Turnips. I feel like both very overlooked vegetables. We have Category 4 to start us off which is going to be a uh, look preference between uh, radish and turnips. Um, the, again, they're very similar. All right? they, they look very similar, radish and turnips. Um, I'm going to give the uh, radish. Radish are a little bit more darker, all right? a little bit more suave, while turnips are a little brighter. Um, so they're very similar, but I think... Uh, I'm going to give the nod here to Radish. Yeah, I know. Uh, the Radish is going to get a point. So, uh, oh, one fell. And that's going to be Category 12. So now we're going to go to Grow Ability. Again, very similar vegetables. Let's see how it is to grow either of them. Although they're very similar, their seeding is pretty spread apart. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, turnips, they're rated 24th. So they're on the harder side of grow out out of these vegetables. Let's see uh, what radish pulls up. So you're telling me they're very similar looking. I, I honestly don't know. They could be very different different fundamentally, but they seem very similar. Um, but you're saying uh, radish is the second easiest vegetable to grow while turnips are one of the hardest when they look so similar. Whatever. Um, I'm not going to judge. Radish actually getting a 2-0 lead against turnips threatening to have our like third sweep in a row all right next up we have category two all right this is going to be my actual preference no this is price not my preference so a uh, singular radish will run you up about seven cents while a turnip will run you up 99 cents on the dollar nearly a whole buck for a turnip radish cheap as shit so with that <clears throat> The Radish is sweeping turnips 3-0. to zero. I really thought that would be a more contentious battle. And that's a pretty big upset according to the seating. So, okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> thank goodness for good directions and turnip greens. I couldn't sing that song, uh, which is a shame. But Radish, singing the Sweet 16. All right. We have our last play and match up. All right. Winner of this gets to go against the second seed, which we didn't see in this video yet or <laughs> we won't see until next video, we have a good one, all right? 15th seed green beans or string beans against the 18th seed broccoli, all right? How is it going to be America's favorite vegetable, supposedly, if it's only 18th? But I guess this is mainly worldwide production, um, so maybe not a lot of people outside of the U.S. eat broccoli. I don't know, but it's going to be a good matchup regardless. Let's get it rolling, all right? First that we have is Category 6. Category 6, uh, once again, is going to be that nutritional grade being very important. Uh, vitamin C can be found a good bit in broccoli with an A score. Meanwhile, green beans, they have a good bit of fiber with an A score as well. So uh, we are re-rolling here. Next up is uh, 7. Category 7 is going to be Best Movie. Uh, Beanstalk, all right, the... Jack and the Beanstalk movie uh, for green beans, only with a 39% uh, Google score, which is pretty atrocious. However, broccoli isn't uh, a part of the movies anyway, so green beans get away with one going up 1-0. One, All right, next up is category one. So broccoli, 18th seed with 14 million tons being produced yearly. Green beans, 15th seed with 23 million tons being produced yearly. Green beans quickly going up 2-0, threatening to sweep broccoli. I think that would be a huge shocker. Uh, now we have category 10. Yeah, category 10, which is going to be that storage life. Green beans, three days. Uh, meanwhile, broccoli, one week. So uh, half a week more for broccoli's freshness, keeping them alive. All right, next up we have is... 
category eight. Category eight is going to be a uh, most popular song, of course, Broccoli by Shy or uh, Shelly FKA Dram and um, what is it? Um, Lil Boat with 500 and Lil, Lil Yachty, uh, for those who don't know. Little boat's the same thing. 572 million songs, one of the most popular on this list. Green Beans, the song Green Bean, uh, once again by Young Nutty, uh, 16 million views. Not enough, though. Broccoli tying it up to two. All right, this is the matchup that I thought we were going to have. All right, next up we have category 12. It all comes down to uh, growability, uh, how easy it is to throw some green beans in your garden. And it's going to be the third easiest vegetable to grow for green beans broccoli in the middle 17th so with that being said uh according to the green giant uh vegetable company america's most popular vegetable the broccoli is out of here it, it's not even moving on to the sweet 16 it couldn't survive the play round meanwhile we will see green beans over there because they move on so wow we had uh, a handful of sweeps and a handful of really good matches to start this pl uh, this tournament, this play-in round. Next video will be that Sweet 16. All right, we'll, we'll see some of the uh, top vegetables that we didn't get to see contend uh, this video. But if you're looking for an underdog story, uh, may I suggest the 16th seed squash is still alive, the 21st seed avocado, um, and the biggest Cinderella story moving on, the 23rd seed, Radish. So, like if you like this video once again. If you're excited for part two, if you're really enthusiastic about uh, vegetables, you know, maybe I can get some uh, vegetarian fan base up on this thing doing this. Uh, we'll see. Until I do like a meat uh, March Madness, and then they'll all <laughs> unsubscribe quickly. Um, but anyways, subscribe if you want to see more of these or outdoor videos, food reviews, and without further ado, y'all, I'll see you in the Sweet 16. Also, by the way, you'll see this way ahead of time, but today filming this is March. No, not, well, yes, yeah, March, but it's St. Patrick's Day. So green, green, vegetables, green. I felt like it was a good day to record this. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.